Hit it, baby girl. We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the Raw Food World. Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, and we are coming at you live. Live. From Vilcabamba, Ecuador? From Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We're so excited, I can barely help it. <laughs> and what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a Q&A and some other fun things. We actually even have a giveaway. Woo! Yeah. And uh, for those of you that are not watching this live, next time you probably will want to watch it live because we do a little bit of chatting before and after the videos. So you get extra footage and fun stuff and tips and recipes for healthy <laughs> living. Okay. So... Should we start some questions? Yes, people are dying to know what the what is what what they're getting for free, like what the winner gets. Oh well, maybe they just have to wait for this. Okay, they, they gotta wait. They gotta wait. Okay, um, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the, the first question we see here. What time is it in Vilcabamba? You saw that? It just went eight o'clock. Eight o four. Angela, you're glowing lately. What is happening with you? I'm happy. <laughs> Someone just asked, what do you put in your green juices? Mm, people ask that a lot. Um, I just answered that actually a few minutes ago to some question. Um, here, there's a lot of alfalfa going in and nettles, a lot of wild greens, cucumber, zucchini, pretty, just any greens that we have. We like parsley and celery and, you know, it depends what we have available. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of wild greens too. I just walk right out the door and I pick it from our lawn. I've been making green smoothies also. We do green juice and I've been doing green smoothies lately. I haven't really ever done those before, but I just can't get over. I just take like two mangoes that are like 20 cents each. And then I go right to the lawn and I get the purslane I see over there and all that other fun stuff. The purslane is so good out here. Love purslane. Yeah, it's awesome. There's omega fatty acids in there in greens. I saw somebody just ask what's so great about bee pollen. Um, I absolutely love bee pollen, one of my favorite foods. Um, it's a complete protein, has all amino acids in it. It's really easy to eat. Whenever we're traveling anywhere, I usually have bee pollen and chlorella tablets with me. There's some chlorella tablets right here. In fact, Brought to Vilcabamba, Ecuador from Ojai shipping department. Chlorella tablets are a must. They're really great to travel with because they're both something that you can just eat from the bag and they taste good and you get like this big um, nutrition download and they're like energizing um, and yeah, they're good on the road, but they're good anytime, both of them, bee pollen and chlorella. What else? Uh, these are other musts, royal jelly powder, bring it to Ecuador. We, we, we <laughs> took up our luggage space and brought that. Of course, we had to bring the large marine phytoplanktons. This is definitely a must. Lots of fun stuff. Have you been wearing some sort of sunscreen while working outside? No, I got burnt pretty badly on my first day here because I just didn't factor in the fact that we're living pretty much at the equator. The sun is a lot stronger here. So I was burnt across my shoulders and stuff. But since then, you know, my body's pretty much adjusted. I don't go out um, right in the middle of the day. I wear a hat, things like that. Yeah, you just got to build up on everything. Like if you go running for 10 miles at first go and you haven't run in a long time, I mean, you're going to be sore. Same with the sun. I've just been building up every day. I'm not really having many problems. I did peel a little bit at one point. Yes. Someone's asking about birth control. What did they ask? What type of birth control do we use? What's the answer? What is the answer? You want me to answer this one? <laughs> okay, so birth control. Um, we, I don't know, should we say? <laughs> I actually have a whole section on contraception on my website, on rawreform.com. Um, so you can read about it there. And there's like kits that you can get to uh, measure your urine if you're a woman and you're not necessarily wanting to conceive anytime soon. Um, 
I think the ones in the US are called something like Clear Blue, and the ones in the UK begin with P. I forgot the names of everything now, but you can read about it on rawreform.com. Um, they're a really good way, like non-intrusive way of monitoring your cycle if you're a woman so that you um, are not going into uh, the possibility of getting pregnant on the days when you're most fertile. Right on. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is... So many things. Raw foods to lose weight. Oh. Uh-oh. Why? You gonna tell them? Just, why? You wanna tell them? No. Okay. Okay, so there's so much things that factor into weight loss on a raw food diet. Most people, when they do a raw food diet, they don't truly do a raw food diet. I mean, they might do it for a couple weeks here and then all of a sudden they get those cravings and they don't cleanse their colon and they just go nuts and they binge on some cooked food or something like that. And it, most people don't last on the raw food diet. But if you can last on the raw food diet consistently, I know some people that lost weight immediately, like 10 pounds, and it wasn't until two years later they lost another 20 pounds. So it's all about consistency. If you're concerned like, oh, which raw foods are fattening and which ones aren't, I mean, it's kind of obvious, just like the high carbs and the high fat, you know? Yeah, it's so much more about what you don't eat than what you do eat, you know? That's what it comes down to. I've mentioned before that nearly always, all the emails I get, I send people to go and read Mr. Monarch's articles, and um, I would suggest reading the How to Go Raw article as well, because it's all the same thing, you know? Like, if you're carrying around extra weight, you're carrying around a lot of extra toxins and stuff that your body could let go of if you feed your body the fuel that it was designed to run on. So it's, it's really not rocket science, you know, it's fuel the body on natural food straight from the earth and you'll start to release that weight. In my first two years of raw, I was like 70, 80% raw. I wasn't even totally raw. I was living in Iceland. I didn't know what I was doing and I still released 160 pounds. So you know, it, it's about cutting out the stuff that is really damaging for the body. What happens when people die? What happens when people die? What happens when people die? What happens when a person dies? They leave their body. They're still there. They just don't have a body anymore. Right. It's so obvious. Someone would like to discuss tea. How do you feel about drinking tea? What do you use as a natural remedy? I drink tea quite a lot. Don't get cremated, it's above 118 degrees. <laughs> That's a good point. I like tea. Um, you know, some raw, raw foodists don't drink tea just for the same reason they don't eat cooked food. Um, I feel like there's a lot of healing benefits from teas, so, um, you know, I really enjoy them. I was just drinking some of the Reishi Shilaji Ormus tea before we came on, actually. That's my favorite. I really love this. With the chocolate flavor extract. I thought I had some here, but I didn't bring it. Maybe it's back in the shop. Ridiculous. All right, everybody. I think the 10 minute mark hit. Oh, really? I think so. Or maybe not. No, look, that says 8.50. Oh, eight, oh, there we go. Awesome. We still got a minute. Well, maybe we should uh, tell them the goat story today that happened. <laughs> Actually, this is like, it's going to take longer than a minute, so we're just going to save this for the people that are actually here right now. We'll tell them between episodes, we'll tell them about the goat story. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, so we're, hit, we're hitting the 10 minute mark. YouTube won't accept us after 45 more seconds. Uh-oh. Um, should we, someone said, can you eat too much kale? Um, my feeling is you can overdo anything. You can do anything to excess. Um, kale is a fantastic food and most people would get great benefits from eating a lot of it. You want to be careful if you have an underactive or slow thyroid. Yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> yes. And um, we're going to be giving away the next, for the next episode, we're going to be giving away a free DVD of ours and we've got and just sex Monarch. and Matt Monarch. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the raw food world TV show. We don't got time. Sorry. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again in the raw food world.